To all the viewers right now, you're looking at this is the, a live coverage brought to you by CGTA New Media, and this is a rescue scene. And according to our latest knowledge, and there is the a bus on board, 51 people right now. So far, 39 people rescued after a bus fell into a river, and this is happened in Pingsheng County, Shijiazhuang City, North China, as Hebei Province on Monday. Um, Right now we're looking at, we have the, a rescue team rush to the scene. So right now for the a rescue work, and we know right now we expanded the a rescue water area, and also we have the witness provide us the, a more information. And we also know that actually the current was really the fast, and the people created the a brush and flow to the other area. So that is why we right now expanded the rescue water area and also a supporting team also on the way. We rescued around the a one to two kilometers along this water area. So it's also necessary to expand the rescue area. So we need more headcount, more personnel, and also equipment. Right now, the flow, the current is really fast. So we can see that also as the additional challenge to our work. And also according to our observation, we're looking at the a kayak coming in and out. So that's coming in to add more fuels and then go out again to search the personnel. And right now we're looking at this is the a accident place and it's around one kilometer to 2.5 kilometers so the rescue area. And we know in these two days has been keeping raining and looking at this water area actually before this is no water and because of the rainfall the whole area right now covered by water and also we could see that the a current is flowing very fast and we will also bring you more updated information and according to our knowledge 39 people were rescued including two deaths and 12 still missing
looking at more kayaks coming from both sides of the bridge. And the accident happened this morning at the 7 o'clock on Monday. Right now, according to our latest information, 39 people were rescued after a bus fell into a river that happened at 7 a.m. And also right now, 39 people were rescued, including two people died after rescue and 12 still missing. Right now we have seen more helping hands rushing to the scene and because we need to expand the rescue area according to DA evidence provided by witness and DA several personnel might flow to the a downside of downstream or the other side of the bridge. So it's very necessary uh, with more helping hands and equipment arrived at the scene and will expand the a rescue area. And we know right now the a water current is very fast. The a flow was really fast. That is why we need more equipment and people to search at both sides of the bridge. So the bus fell into a river at about 7 a.m. on Monday with 51 people on board. The search and rescue work is going, and the driver has been held by local police, and investigation is ongoing. So looking at the rescue team right now is working on both sides of the bridge to search the A12 missing. So looking at it, this is just the place that the accident happened this morning. So we had to search a larger place. So looking at it, because of the rainfall in the Hebei province, so this area is covered by the torrential rain. And also, that's the a bus was said that because the a road surface was very slippery, so the bus fell into the water, and it's a commuter bus. So we will also, of course, keep you updated. Please always stay tuned with CGT New Media.
I'm looking at these are the rescue team. I'm looking at their equipment and also bring these a box of food, some bread and water, so which means that they will also stay on board for a longer time. So right now we received help from the a blue rescue team and also other the a rescue team from the a private sector and also we have the a team from the a Herbie Provincial Emergency Management Team. Actually, we talk about the a challenge is quite big, but looking at this is quite vast space. So that brought a big difficulties to the rescue team. And also looking at the a water current still very fast. And we also talked to the rescue team, and looking at and this is the personnel from Blue Sky Rescue. And also they talk about that underwater, also different the a canals and also the a Looking at the they have the a different the a terrains and also right now looking at the a kayak actually lying in a line. So it's like doing this carpet style searching, make sure that no corner left behind, no stone left unturned. According to our latest information, and also this is the information released by the a Hubei province emergency management department, a commuter bus carrying 51 people fell into the water. Up to now, 39 people have been rescued, including two people died, 12 still missing. And the rescue work still undergoing, and we could see that more people rushing to the scene. And we talk about the overall rescue work, also is the work to prevent the secondary disaster from happening. And right now, also know that the depths of the water are actually quite deep. And we know that in the recent days, the water storage the surrounding the reservoir actually already hit their historical high number. So right now they still have a big pressure on the flood discharging. And looking at we have a white board here. So we have the name listed here. That's the a personnel involved in the research and rescue work. So looking at they have the a team leader's name here and also the a time also to put to their team, make sure that first of all, make sure everyone is safe. And also we know that their work shift. So once again, to give you the a quick update, uh, this is the a places that the accident happened. And we talk about because the upstream, the reservoir is doing water discharging. So the road this morning covered by water around 30 to 40 centimeters depths in depths. So we talk about that bus. It's a commuter bus. And when we arrived at this scene, the bus was already lifted to the shore. And we found that the a bus was distorted. And the bus not 100% fell into the water. And when we found that the bus actually, the people through the a window actually flow to the surface of the water looking for rescue. Upstream reservoir right now stopped water discharging. But this is the live picture brought you by CGT New Media, and you could still see that the road still covered by water. And also we're looking at the surrounding water areas. The current is very fast, and also we have a little bit waned as well. So these factors all add additional time challenges to the rescue work.
那我们了解了一下呢，这辆车辆它每天都会从县城前往敬业集团来运送他们的员工。Talking about this, the commuter bus, actually, this is the routine bus bringing the workers to their working place. And the road here, this is the a road that a must go. So the bus is quite familiar with this road because they need to pass this road every day. So right now we know that the a driver has been held by local police and investigation is ongoing. We know this place actually. We see that water discharging places. We need to know why the bus was allowed to enter to this place. I know just according to the a local people, five days ago, a elementary school issued a notice to the parents that this place prepared for the water discharging, so people should stay away from these areas, make sure that themselves and their kids were in the safe place. So we could know that the notice regarding the a upstream reservoir water discharging actually already issued. So we need to figure out why the bus, given that the notification that was already issued, still entered to this place. The local authorities, the governor of the province, and also the mayor of the city, also ask the personnel to. Do the best to save people's life and also to investigate into the case. Up to now, 12 people are still missing. We don't know when the rescue work will be end, but we'll always keep you updated and bring you the updated information as early as possible.
搜救。那么，其实啊，这个搜救难度还是比较大的。虽然上游的港南水库已经是。And now we're looking at this is the a coverage brought you by CGT New Media. Right now we are here at this rescue scene. According to our latest knowledge, the a bus fell into a river in Pingshan County, Shijiazhuang City, North China's Hebei Province, and a bus carrying 51 people fell into the water this morning at 7 o'clock. And right now, looking at the a 39 people have been rescued, with including two deaths, 12 still missing. We're looking at right now the a rescue team. We have the a private the a teams, and including right now you're looking at this is the a blue sky rescue teams, and also we have the team from the a Hebei Provincial Emergency Management Team, and also. At the a rescue team actually lying their kayak in a line, make sure that they making this the carpet like rescue style. So make sure that they have screened a corner under the water. And right now, according to the latest information, and this is also the information released by the Hebei Provincial Emergency Management Department, a commuter bus carrying 51 people from Shijiazhuang. Pingshan County and fell from the bridge to the water. And up to now, 39 people have been rescued, including two people died and 12 are still missing. And we talk about that. The One of the reasons could be that the a upstream reservoir, and because of the a Rainings that continue for several days. The upstream reservoir actually already hit the historical high and also under the a water discharging process. And looking at this whiteboard, actually, it's listed all the rescue team's names. So from 9.20 a.m. till now, 1.15 p.m. So this mentioned that the different teams with the team leader's name write it down and so we can know that the which team right now is in the rescue work and with how many people on board. So we're looking at the this is at the Pingshan County Gongcheng Street. And when the accident happened, this is a commuter bus from the city to Jingye Company. And we talk about this is the road must pass. And because the upstream reservoir was doing the a uh, water discharging work. So this morning, the road is still covered by water with 30 to 40 centimeters that in deep. And when we arrived at the scene, we already saw the bus lifted to the shore. And we look at the bus. The bus actually had a little bit this tour. And because that bus not 100 percent embedded in the water, so people inside the bus actually climbed up to the top of the bus looking for help. You still can see right now the road covered by water, but this morning, looking at these places, actually quite vast, covered by water. And this morning, the water covered around 30 to 40 centimeters in depth. And right now, we're also looking at the water flows very fast. The weather today is very helping because it's not raining, but still we can feel the, the wind and also that add additional challenge to the rescue work. So we talk about the bus, that's a commuter bus. So this is kind of the a routine work that happened day to day, so carrying the a workers to the company and back to the city. So we don't know whether that's the a road already have a sign saying that it is a dangerous place, do not come in because the a flood water releasing. We still need waiting for the more information available to see why this bus was allowed to enter this place this morning. According to the a local 
people, I saw that the, a notice issued by local elementary school five days ago. The school already issued a notification saying that the upstream reservoir was prepared to release water inside the reservoir. So we know that a flood discharge actually is, was scheduled, and the OCT notification was already released. So we're need, waiting for the further investigation to show us why the bus, giving over these facts, still enter to this road. The local authorities also do their best to save people's lives and see treat the injured and also make sure that they investigate the more reasons behind to bring a clear picture back. Right now, still 12 people are missing, and we always keep you updated. We know the rescue and research work still going. Oh, the viewers, right now we bring you this live coverage to you from the scene. And so we're looking at this is the eight people from the Blue Sky Rescue Team. Right now, based on the a morning's efforts, right now we've expanded further the a search and the rescue area, and also according to the vet nets, and the a current actually is very fast. So maybe the people from the bus also float to the other side of the bridge. So we need to expand it the water area, so we will have a sort of search and rescue work. Uh, right now it's around one to two and a half kilometers. So right now we're also waiting for the equipment and also the air personnel arrived at the scene. So we will expand further the a rescue area. And also, once again, we talk about the a current is flowing very fast, so adding additional challenges to our work. And also looking at the a kayak coming in and out. So they're coming back to add more fuel. 
So they're coming back to um, the, to the, the refill and also we also make different shifts as well. So looking at the rescue team actually started their search work at both sides of the bridge. So looking at this area, originally that's pure land. Looking at it because of the continuous rainfall, the area covered by the water. And also this area is also covered by the water this morning around 30 to 40 centimeters in depth. We will keep you updated. And rescue underway after bus fell into river in China's Hebei province. We're looking at the scene. We know that the upstream reservoir ran already stopped releasing flood from the reservoir, but we still could see that the current is flowing very fast, adding additional challenge to the rescue work. And looking at this is a team from Blue Sky Rescue, and also we're looking at this rescue team. They saying that actually there are the uh, canals and ditches under the water, so that's also had additional challenge and difficulties to the rescue team. And looking at not quite far from us, looking at this, the rescue team, they put in their kayaks in a line and make sure that they have this 
360-degree screening working style, make sure uh, that no stone left unturned. And give you the updated information according to the Hebei Provincial Emergency Management Department. A commuter bus carrying 51 people fell into the water. Up to now, 39 people have been rescued, including two deaths and 12 still missing. And we can see that right now the rescue team and the additional rescue team are still underway and rushing to the scene. And we know that the rescue and the search work is also the way to prevent the secondary disaster from happening. And the 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. on the it's October 9th, the a reservoir actually already hit the hard high number because of the rainfall. Right now, we're looking at right now they already stopped the a flood discharging, but we know that the reservoir actually already to the alarming level in terms of level of a flood. And looking at this whiteboard, how we can guarantee that we'll protect the a life and safety of our rescue team. Looking at this whiteboard, actually write it down. All the rescue team, including personnel, the a team leader's name, and when there's a time they get into the scene, so we can make sure that we contact the rescue team and also to know that who right now in the working shift. So looking at this road, this is the place where accident happened. So that for the a commuter bus from the city to the a company. So we talk about this is a commuter bus. So this is a must pass road for the bus. Actually, this is something that the bus passes every day. So this morning we arrived at seeing that the a road covered by the flood because we know that the reservoir actually was doing the a flood is charging. And the a bus, when we arrived at the scene, were already lifted to the land, to the shore. And so the bus actually is distorted. And the a, when the accident happened, the bus not 100% embedded into the water. So half of the a bus actually above the surface. So people climbed from the bundles and to the top of the bus looking for help. Although the upstream reservoir already stopped the flood discharge, but we still could see that the area covered by the water and the current is still very fast. And you could see that from our live coverage of this live picture, that the area have the wind going on as well, that also they had a different difficulties to the rescue work. So the commuter bus every day carry the workers from the city to the company and from the company to back to the city. And when the accident happened, we don't know. There was a notice sign on the road. So we're waiting for the authorities to let us know the uh, more information why the bus allowed to enter to the scene when the reservoir was doing the flood releasing work. According to the local people, the a elementary school actually five days ago already passed a notification to the parents saying that the upstream reservoir was prepared to release the flood. So make sure that the parents and the kids stay away from these areas. So we know actually there's something already planned in the schedule and also the notification already issued. So after the accident happened, the local authorities also he, he asked the relevant departments to do all the best to search the missing missed ones and also treated the injured and also to figure out the reason behind.
Up till now, five people are still missing. And right now, we're looking at 11 are still missing. And we'll always keep you updated.
继续来看救援现场。那么现在您看到的就是石家庄平山。This is still the rescue scene. We are here at the A Pingshan County, Shijiazhuang City, North China's Hebei Province, and this is the place where accident happened this morning at seven o'clock. And we could see right now the rescue team. And right now, ready to put the kayak to the water and start their shift. So the accident happened this morning at 7 a.m. And we're looking at the a rescue team. We're looking at we have the people in blue jersey. Jersey that's from the a blue rescue team, and also the people in different colors from the provincial and the a city level management department team. And give you the updated numbers. And the bus carrying 51 people fell into the river so far as of 3 p.m. Three people died, and 11 people are still missing. So the water area right now you're looking at, this is the place where the bats fell into. And we could see more and more rescue team right now rush to the scene and start the a search and the rescue work. And we talk about the rescue plan actually is keep changing. This morning you looked at it actually was at this side of the bridge. So right now this afternoon, and they also uh, just the rescue planning. So at the other side of the bridge, actually, we also have more rescue team at the other side of the bridge. Because according to the witness, we talk about this morning, actually, when the accident happened, the a current was flowing very fast. So the personnel have that the a people on the bus had said the a possibility actually been flowed to the other side of the bridge. And also, the, in the previous days, Shijiazhuang suffered a lot from the a rainfall. So the upstream reservoir already hit the historical high number. And also doing the a flood discharging according to the plan. And right now, the a water or the flood release work already stopped. But we still could see that this area is still covered by water. So you could see right now, we need to like, clear the road and to give enough space for the rescue team. Looking at the, a more rescue team, either from the public sector or private sector, all involved right now in the rescue scene. And looking at that road here, You can see that there are two forklifts stopping here to block the road. And this is the road called Gongcheng Street. And this a commuter bus actually brought the a workers to the a company. And this is the a road that the bus has to pass every day. And right now we're looking at, we also have the a different buses, the also the a project vehicles also involved here and are looking at, at the both ends of the road. We all have the rescue team and also the a forklifts here also help to transport a personnel because that we know the road is still covered by water. So right now we talk about when the place is actually car not good enough to get through, and then this kind of the a fork lips you could see actually are the very good ones to transport personnel as well. So we talk about this whole area oh, with the helping hand to search the missing. And the bus fell into the water this morning, already lifted to the shore. But you still could see that the road is still covered by water. And this morning, actually, the deepest steps was around 30, 40 centimeters. But right now, still around 10 to 20 centimeters. So the rescue work right now ex expanded further the rescuing space. 
and also we could see more teams that the team from the a provincial area of the provincial level and also from the neighboring cities and provinces who arrived at the scene. So we could see right now the search and the rescue work is ongoing. And you could see that the rescue team, when they get into the scene, that uh, they start to search in a very sort of manner, make sure that they screened each and every corner. And talking about kayaks, they need to get back to the shore to get filled, and the other team will get involved. So the rescue team also take different working shifts as well. So looking at the rescue team actually is bring their the kayaks in the line, make sure that they leave no stone unturned. So we still see today, it's, although it's not raining, but still uh, the uh, water area is very vast. Uh, the uh, current still is flowing very fast, adding all the additional difficulties to the search and rescue work. And you could see that the rescue personnel and now is doing the, their job at both sides of the bridge. So we're looking at the road, although covered by water, actually this is the main road. The commuter bus pass every day and also is the main street getting to the company. So the road condition previously is okay and it's very smooth, although right now covered by water. So according to the rescue team, this morning at 7 a.m., when the rescue team received the water, they rushed to the scene, and they could see actually the water was at where we're standing. So the water logging was very severe this morning when the rescue team arrived at the scene. And also this white vehicle, also the vehicle belonged to a rescue team. And also this morning when they arrived, the a water logging actually is up to half of their wheels, half of the a wheels of the car. And also we could see that the a additional helping hand had just arrived the scene. So we could see that the a equipment with personnel arrived at the scene and we have the additional team also on their way. So you could see right now we have firefighters, the rescue team personnel, the medical personnel all gathered here. So you could see that you cannot really see the other end of the road because right now the a rescue vehicles all parked here. We could see the rescue um, trucks, buses, ambulance, and also the a machinery trucks, the shop trucks, the a forklifts, and also at the other side of the road, and also the not far from us, you could see actually we have the additional the rescue team at the other side. So 
we're looking at the rescue team from the a provincial emergency management department team, the firefighters, police, the a medical personnel. So that's a cross-discipline, cross-departmental team all involved here in this rescue scene. And not only from the Hebei province and also not only from the a Pingshan place, also the surrounding cities as well as provinces. So give you the updated information, three unfortunately died, with 11 still missing. And search and rescue work is still undergoing. And the driver has been held by local police and investigation is ongoing. And also, in addition, also can see drones also involved. So from the a drone, we could see a bird view scene. And so the a people that kind of based on all this information to adjust the rescue plan. So you could see that the team just arrived. It's from the a neighboring city. Still looking at the vast space, and also we talk about according to the rescue personnel, the depths of this water area quite deep. So right now the rescue work, the rescue team still doing the a search and rescue work from the surface of the water. We now can see the rescue team are doing their best to search the 11 missing. <laughs> 